Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our post today is by Month of Sundays. It's a super long one, so buckle up. Please, I'm looking for not an apartment for sure. I won't be able to afford that or a duplex by myself. I'm a delivery driver, shipped and Uber Eats. A trailer, I guess. Or perhaps somebody with a room to rent with a shed that I can store my stuff in and that allows pets. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to need at least two bedrooms because I have a lot of stuff and I have two cats. They are indoor cats and very well behaved too, by the way. I have art stuff and art desk. I just acquired a sewing machine built into a table. I was hoping to relearn how to sew. I also have a washer and dryer that I do not want to get rid of. I just acquired patio furniture and I was just about to sand down the chairs and spray paint them black to match the table. I want to continue my gardening so I need my hose and I have my two bags of mulch that I was just about ready to put down into the yard. I don't want to get rid of that either. I want to use it. I want a yard. I love nature. Apartment buildings not good for me. And I have an old fashioned push mower that I absolutely love to use. I worked very hard over these last few years to get the stuff that I have and I'm being asked to move quite unexpectedly after 13 years unfortunately. My mother has already found a place I believe and this will be the first time that I've lived by myself as I've always had roommates and a significant other to stay with me. I know I'll be getting rid of a lot of my stuff but there are some stuffs I just don't want to get rid of. Also getting a storage unit will be too costly on top of the bills. I would actually like to try to do a rent to own one. However, renting is just fine if anybody knows of anybody that would work with me or that is available at this time. Please let me know as I have to be out at the end of July and I don't know what I'm going to do. Please keep an eye out for more of my posts as I'm going to be giving away things before I take them to Goodwill. I'm going to try to do it this way instead of the way I had wanted to do it before. Hopefully this way works better posting the stuff individually instead of trying to do it like a yard sale, but free. <laughs> and as I'm packing up my stuff, the things that I'm going to part with, I'll list them as I come across them. Thank you for taking the time to read this all. I know it was long. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, I'll ask, what is your budget? I was paying $750 a month, sharing this with my mom between all the bills that was my part. I'm hoping for it to be lower so that I can get caught up on a few things I owe my mom some monies to. I had lost my job for a month and a half and had to fight to get it back. And then once I got it back, my car broke down so I owe her some cash. Plus, I'd like to be able to save up. I do Uber Eats and shipped. I'm sorry for your situation, but all you're asking for on what your budget is, assuming you want the utilities included with that, this will be next to impossible in today's market. Good luck to you, but you should seriously evaluate your wants and needs. If a mobile home costs more than 3 bedroom 2 bath duplex, then there's problems and they should probably lower the rent because they're asking way too much. A mobile home should cost maybe for $500 at the most per month, water and sewer included. Mobile home should not cost more than a duplex. And I'm just looking for a 2 bedroom mobile home, 2 bedroom 1 bath. So no, my needs are not extravagant, they are reasonable. I'm not sure where you are or if you've looked at the market lately, but two bedroom apartments are nearly $2,000 a month without utilities. So a home, even a mobile home, will be at least comparable. Maybe sell all your stuff instead of donating to make some extra money. Also, if you said that it is your home, why are you leaving? You can join this, Girlfriends, Homes, and Roommates. Click there, but I know that renting just a single room from someone will be at least a thousand. Too expensive for me and I got two cats and I refuse to get rid of them. They're two years old. They are my life. They are literally my emotional support animals. I'd rather sleep in my car. Maybe you could possibly rent out a storage unit for your belongings and then just rent out a room or small studio until you can afford elsewhere? No, I can't afford that. Not with my phone bill, my gas, my car insurance, my pet's food. My food, the storage unit will probably cost more than my rent. 
me and my mother share a three bedroom, two bath duplex. She has her stuff in her room, some stuff in the kitchen, dishes and some stuff she has underneath the cabinet and the hutch in the kitchen. Everything else in the house belongs to me. When I say I have a lot of stuff, I mean I have a lot of stuff and I'm even getting rid of a bunch of it too. So renting a storage facility is out of the question. That's going to cost me almost a thousand dollars a month and especially since it's going to need to be climate controlled so that the wood don't warp. If you're looking for a two bedroom home to put stuff in that's a second bedroom, then might as well just get a storage unit that's 10 by 10, which is the size of the bedroom. It costs around $140 a month at express storage with AC. That's how much I pay for mine when I had to move. It's not going to cost you over $1,000. So what, every time I want to do arts and crafts or sew something, or have my cats, you know, use a bit litter outside, around everybody else, then I'm just going to have to take them to the storage or go to the storage myself? That's pointless. The point is I'm looking for a two bedroom place, a trailer. Why are you trying to talk me out of that? I don't understand. I literally put what I was looking for. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for anything else. I don't want to storage. That I made clear and simple. So I don't understand why you're trying to get me to go everywhere but where I want to go. And I'm not trying to be rude but that's the whole reason. Why I put when I put I'm looking for a two bedroom one bath trailer. Simple as that. Try selling the big furniture and belongings you wouldn't need at this moment in time. Unfortunately, there's not much out there in the price range you're asking. The size of place you're asking for is going to be very hard, especially on that budget. I'm already doing that, thank you. I don't need you to tell me what to do. What I'm asking for is if you happen to see a two bedroom, one bath place, preferably a trailer, just mention it here. That's all I need, nothing else. Please, I don't need. I'm a 41 year old woman. I know what I need to do. I know how to do it. I know I need to be looking myself, which I have been briefly. I've been so busy doing other things, I just now started to do it within the last couple of days. But all I was requesting was help for two bedroom, one bath. I don't want any arguments started. I don't want it and it seems like I'm ungrateful or any of that. But people literally just tell people other information that they're not requesting and I just don't understand the point of that. If somebody is asking for a particular thing and they have a specific need, then if you happen to find something in that, then that's when you say something. You don't tell them everything to do, but what they're looking for doesn't make sense now. If you would have came and said, hey, I saw a two bedroom, one bath place here, I would have been like, great, thank you. I'll call them. If it was too expensive for me, then it was too expensive for me. Then at least I would have called them and found out. I just don't understand why everybody is telling me to do this and do that and do that and do this none of the concern of the post so please if you happen to see one just keep me in memory and that's all I'm requesting okay thank you so much I appreciate it no one's telling you to do anything they're making realistic suggestions have a great day and good luck Unless it has to do with what I'm requesting, there's no reason to mention anything else. Renting a room from somebody unless they have a storage shed and allows me to store my stuff there and allows me to have my cats is pointless because I'm not going to get a storage unit and I'm not giving up my babies. I would rather pinch my tent somewhere. The whole point of when someone makes a post is that's what they're looking for. If they want anything else other than that, they would have included it in their post. So please, people, I appreciate the help. Don't get me wrong, but only if it's for what I'm asking, for two bedroom, two bath place. You don't need anything else, but just don't worry about it if you can find it. If you happen to see a two bedroom, one bath trailer or something resilient, cheap, just remember me. That's all I'm asking for. I'm asking for you to go out and above and beyond looking for places for me. Just if you happen to see one or you know somebody, mention it here. That's all I'm requiring. That's all I needed. So please and thank you. I appreciate. Sends pick. In search of roommate in the next couple months. Five acres. I work a lot. I do have dogs, so no more dogs. I also have a barn on the property for a horse. 
found and instead still waiting for a place that has two bedrooms is completely unrealistic and unreasonable. You said you can't afford it. What you want and what's essential are two different things. You're saying you're getting rid of a lot more stuff than you want to. Well, if you still have so much stuff that you're either going to be cramped or need an extra room just to store it, you might have to get rid of more stuff, regardless if you want to. Either you can afford it or you can't. No one's expecting you to whore yourself out. Not having whatever little extra luxuries, like a large table or a sewing machine, isn't going to harm you in any way. There's no reason you can't purchase those things once you're in a better position. As I stated in other comments, since last year, rent prices increased up to as high as 50%. Right now, it's very difficult to find housing, and it's impossible to find affordable housing. She found an efficiency. There's no way I'm going to fit an efficiency. I know what I need, and I know what I can afford, and I'm pretty sure I told you not to write on my post again. And I know it's difficult. Why do you think I'm asking people to keep a lookout? That's the whole point of the darn post. I barely had two months to find a place to live. I've been living here for 13 years. I don't want to find another place to live. I want to stay here, but no. My landlord wants to do renovations and up the price of rent when it's already high as it is. But I'm not being delusional, and my wants, needs are not unrealistic, and you should be ashamed of yourself to say so. This is once again where you're not understanding how things work. You made a post on the internet. This isn't your post where everyone has to follow your rules and only must post exactly what you ask for. No one cares if you're specific about what you're asking. I'm not sure who the fuck you think you are, but you don't tell me to do or not do anything. Getting trolled, really? Are you serious? Because I'm a grown woman and I want a two bedroom, one bath, at least, so that I have space and not everything is crammed, and that way, if I want to do my crafts, I have a separate room for it. How is that ridiculous? How is my wants and needs unreasonable? If you feel like you're getting trolled, then fine. You're getting trolled, but everybody else, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. It's what I need, and this this guy can go live in his imaginary land off in Oz somewhere. Seriously, sir, if you don't think I'm making sacrifices, you're crazy. I already told you I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff, more stuff than I want to, so what kind of sacrifices should I make? Get rid of every fucking thing that I own? My cats too? Should I become a prostitute and just whore myself out? Seriously, you're being ridiculous. My wants and needs are delusional? Shame on you. How is it unrealistic to have a two bedroom, one bath? Seriously. It would be more unrealistic and delusional if I wanted a four bedroom, two bath, or four bedroom, three bath. What the hell would I be needing all those extra rooms for? You have some nerve. Don't comment on my post again. Have a great day. Wanting a two bedroom and a bath isn't an issue. Feel free to want whatever you want. Everyone can have hopes and dreams and aspirations. Those aren't problems. The issues arise when you literally state, For sure I don't want an apartment. I won't be able to afford it. So turning down an apartment for $750 that you said your mother found and instead still wanting a place that has two bedrooms. Well, I feel like this beggar is definitely one that could be given everything they want, everything they're asking for, maybe even more, and they'd still find a reason to bitch, find a way to buy more shit, and still need a storage. Also, fail to take responsibility for their own bullshit. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. Super long post, but super choosy beggar. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.